So this weekend what I did is I took my prototype digital financial reporting viewer that I built in Microsoft Access and I moved a lot of the features and functionality into a visual basic.net application. So here I select a reporting entity and here up comes the disclosure for that reporting entity. This works, you can drill down into any of these report components and get the documentation, labels, references. You can actually click and go to the accounting standards codification. So here you can see that this is set up right now. It only works with US GAAP, but the same thing will work for IFRS. I only have one topic right now, property plan equipment. And I only have one disclosure that I'm looking at uh, from my RSS feed, property plan equipment components. But here I have, I don't know, 500 entities. And I don't just have information about the entity and the disclosure, I have all this other information also. There's the CIK number, the accession number, the network that it's in, whether it's a disclosure or a statement. Um, I'm, I have, I'm assigning a like and a rating and commentary to the disclosure. So here it says straight concept. So you can see down here a concept was put into this report component, so I call that a straight concept. So this also, this is a dimension-based approach. So there's the domain, the root member, there's the breakdown. Here you have an items-based approach. Furniture, fixtures, it only has one, so let me look at this other one. Yeah, so there's you have the components, land, building, fixtures, the gross subtotal, the accumulated depreciation, and the um, net concept. So I think I'll call that good for now. I'll provide more information. There's so source code available. Uh, I'm going to convert this. This is a Windows Forms application. I'm going to turn it into a uh, WPF Windows Presentation Foundation application next.